It's the Old Forester King Ranch. Okay. <clears throat> what makes this so different? King Ranch uses five to seven year old mesquite wood that was slow roasted for half a day over a fire to create a unique charcoal. Then they brought it back to the distillery and used the charcoal chips to filter their bourbon before bottling it. Let's talk about King Ranch a bit and taste this Texas only release right here. It's the Mash and Drum. What's up folks, I'm Jason C from The Master and Drum and welcome back to the show. Please like the video, subscribe, and do all the things you need to do to help grow the channel, I really appreciate it. Uh, the iconic King Ranch logo is pretty well known across America, especially in Texas. You may recognize the wavy W design on Ford Truck King Ranch editions, also clothes, saddles, and even turf grass. But this is the first time ever seeing it on a bottle of whiskey. I mean, let's be honest, King Ranch is the living, real-life embodiment of Yellowstone, which is probably my favorite show on TV right now. Come on, Beth Dutton, best character on TV ever. So the idea between the two brands started several years ago as the Texas distilling industry started to gain a lot of notoriety. Now, if you guys remember this bottle from Wild Turkey named Long Branch, which was a collaboration between actor Matthew McConaughey and Wild Turkey, it was a sign of bigger distilleries tapping into the Texas market. So as I mentioned, they took five to seven year old mesquite wood and slow roasted it. Let me pour this here. They slow roasted it for uh, half a day uh, over a fire to create a unique charcoal flavor profile, then brought it back to the distillery and used the charcoal chips to filter the bourbon before bottling it. Being a Brown Foreman product, they are pretty good at this technique. Being Brown Foreman owns Jack Daniels, who filters through sugar maple charcoal. So this year's bottle is the first release from a long-term partnership between King Ranch and Old Forester. It is only being sold in Texas with no online sales plan for $70 for a 750 milliliter bottle. Now don't worry, according to Old Forester, the next release is already in the pipeline and will be dropped sometime next year. So please don't overpay for this. More is coming. It's bottled at 105 proof. Let's try it. Here we go. So first impression, it's pretty sweet on the nose for me. You do get a hint of that smoke. Very similar to Long Branch. There's almost like this sweet tea note that I get on this, which is, you know, kind of nice. Very heavy vanilla. And man, one note that's been jumping out of the glass here, uh, for me personally, is apple. Get a lot of apple, like fresh cut apple. This is very old foresty on the nose, which I really like. It's got, I'm not gonna say there's too much of a, of a banana note, but I think there's a hint of it there. I think the smoke definitely overlays it. So it's nice on the nose, better than I expected. So let's try it. This is very sweet for me. It's caramel apple. That caramel apple note definitely rains through. I feel like I get the smoke on the very, very end of it. The mesquite smoke is there. It gives it this little subtlety hint of oak and smoke and also a little bit of dryness, which I think all combines. Not a long finish. I'm not really feeling it here in the chest at all. It all kind of stays right in the back of the palate. A little bit of rye to it, not a lot. What's nice on this is, is the, the mouthfeel. I definitely notice a good texture to it. Now it's only 105 proof, so it doesn't have a super long finish, but I do appreciate the spice here. Now the one thing that bugs me about this bottle, and there's always something that bugs me, right guys? Sorry to say, but I don't know. It, this, this came off in the marketing like it was like this big, you know, feat of innovation and something that's just, out of this world that's never been done and while it's never been done for old forester obviously you know wild turkey kind of did it first with the mesquite so i mean i think everybody needs to kind of you know relax the uh the innovation talk it's not like we haven't seen this before plus i mean brown foreman does do it with jack daniels products but but i mean that's sugar maple not mesquite but i mean i think the way it's been talked up it's like this super rare release where, I mean, Long Branch just sits on the shelf everywhere. And even though Long Branch is a lower proof, I mean, I get it, but let's relax the, uh, the oh my God, it's something we've never seen before talk. 
What I do appreciate about this is that it doesn't lose its Old Forester DNA. It's still there. It's very sweet. The only knock I'll give it is that it dries your palate out a little bit. And I think that's just really because of the smoke. But other than that, it's a really nice, well-crafted whiskey. I, I really dig the fact that they did this little filtering process. You know, I know that Wild Turkey kind of did it first, however you want to, you know, arguably, however you want to think on that. But uh, it's interesting to, to see another distillery do it, especially a big one like Old Forester partnering with uh, King Ranch to do it. Yeah, sweet, subtle smoke, kind of a sweet tea, caramel apple type vibe going on. Not a long finish. The finish just kind of stays right here in the throat. All right, let's do a quick final breakdown on the Old Forester King Ranch since it is a limited release. All right, guys, price for this one, 70 bucks. Uh, secondary market value. I'm seeing people try to sell this or trade for like Old Forester birthday bourbon for one of these. Relax. It is, there's more coming, guys. So if you're out there thinking, hmm, maybe I'll never see one of these, they're going to release another one next year and probably one more after that. It's going to keep coming. So if you don't get one this year or you don't know someone in Texas, there's more coming and who knows? Knowing Old Forester, Brown Foreign, they could trickle it out to other markets next year. We never know. Right now, it's a Texas-only release, which brings me to availability. It's limited to one state in Texas. So unless you live in Texas or know someone in Texas, it might be a little bit hard to get this. I got this because I have a great uh, follower of the show that got one for me who lives in Texas. Uh, value for this one. I'm, I'm going to say the value here is even. I think it's a decent value. I think Old Foresters are mostly a good value, maybe aside from some of the birthday bourbons from year to year. Um, but that also brings me to the most I pay. The most I pay for this one, I mean, normally I'd say retail, but being it's a limited release, I do have to factor that in. You're thinking about Texas. Am I ever going to see a bottle of this again? I might as go as high as a hundred bucks for this because it's not in my state, but at the same time, I would not, I would not pay an exorbitant amount of money or trade, uh, a highly allocated bottle for this at all. Remember, I keep saying it. There's a more coming next year. So if you haven't had a chance to get this, um, then you will have a chance to get it, you know, next year. But apparently this is all over Texas still. Is this a recommend? Yes, but that comes with some guidelines. First of all, don't pay an exorbitant amount of price for this. Don't trade a highly allocated bottle for this. But if you have a friend in Texas or you're traveling for Texas, and you get this at retail or pay no more than a hundred bucks. I think it's a definite pickup. I really like it. It's, I went in thinking I was gonna absolutely hate this. Um, just because Mesquite, Old Forester profile, but I think it's a really nice combination of the flavors. So, I dig it. All right guys, well hope you enjoyed this video for the new Old Forester King Ranch, Texas only release. If you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button below, please hit the like button. If you haven't, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, let me know what you think about it. I've seen some mixed reviews on it. I actually really kind of dig it. I think it's different. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey, it's the people you share it with. See you next time right here on the Mash and Drum. Take care, everybody.